A Nina Middle School mom has just filed a lawsuit against her son's associate principal, claiming that Principal David Sonobin prohibited her child from wearing a shirt with a gun on it to class. So NBC26's Eric Crest reports on the dress code at Shattuck Middle School and is hearing from district leadership tonight. Just last week, Kelly Jacob filed this lawsuit against Principal David Sonnabend, claiming that the principal prohibited her son from wearing a shirt that he deemed inappropriate to school. Now, the alleged incident happened just last week at Shattuck Middle School. That's when Jacobs claims her son was wearing a Smith & Wesson firearms shirt with a picture of a revolver on it. Now, the associate principal allegedly told the student that he's prohibited from wearing clothes that depict firearms, and so the student was forced to change. But looking into the school's dress code policy, the school clearly states that they reserve the right to require students to change clothing if their appearance does not reflect good taste or is disruptive to the educational process. Now today we spoke with the attorney representing the boy and he claimed they are not seeking money. They just want the dress code to allow students the right to wear such clothing in the future. Well, it's a violation of First Amendment rights to uh, restrict um, speech in that way, you know, when weapons are depicted in a non-threatening, non-violent manner. Now today, the Nina Joint School District gave us this statement regarding the lawsuit. The Nina Joint School District has not been served with any lawsuit regarding the student dress code issues. While the district has addressed at least one shirt with inappropriate language, the district is unaware of any student being required to change a shirt depicting a firearm and advocating gun ownership. Now, we also reached out to the associate principal at Shattuck Elementary for comments, but at this hour, we have not received a response. Eric Crest, NBC 26. And the lawyer representing the Jacobs family says he has won similar lawsuits in other states before, which did force school districts to change their policy to allow students to option to wear clothing with guns on them as long again as they aren't shown in a violent or threatening way.